Hello everyone and welcome back to Chessopedia. I hope you all are doing well. Recently friends, our channel hit another milestone by crossing 200 wonderful subscribers. I am highly grateful to all my wonderful viewers and subscribers for the constant love and support. Your love and support means the world to me and it encourages me every time to produce new and exciting videos. I hope that with your such continuous love and support, we will all grow together. So guys, in today's video, we are going to analyze a chess game played between Alexander Alekhain and Max Uwe in Harlem, Netherlands in 1937. This was a World Championship rematch which was offered by Alekhain to Max Uwe after losing to him back in 1935. So friends, without any further ado, let's get straight into the game. So Alekhain started the game with 1d4. Max responded d5, c4, c6, and here it is the Slav defense. Alekhine played knight c3, d takes c4. Now, instead of d takes c4, there are two other black options. One of them is e5, after which Alekhine would have played c takes d5, c takes d5, and now a very interesting move e4. After which d takes c4 and after bishop to b5 check, white has a slight edge in the game because knight to c6 is not possible because of d5. So instead of d takes c4, the other option which black would have was knight to f6, after which e3, g6 and after f3, the position is sound and equal for both sides with white having a slight edge in the game due to his center control. But it's equal for both. But in the game was happened, d takes c4 and after d takes c4, Alekhine immediately took the center with e4 and having the center is a great thing. So he sacrificed a pawn in exchange of the center and the pawn is now also hanging. But this is a line. So here, Alec so here Max played the move e5. Now instead of e5, the common move is b5 because first of all it protects the pawn which is very important sometimes because uh, white has given up the pawn for the center. So black should uh, preserve it for later on. So he's trying to hold on with the c4 pawn but now a4 is a very interesting move which destroys black structure threatening a takes b5 and note a6 is not possible because then d5 can also come. So after here, black could play b4 and now knight a2 and now knight f6 and after e5, knight to d5 and bishop to c4 as white is having a better pawn structure and he is controlling the center better than black, he has a slight edge. But in the game was played after e4, e5 and after which Alekhine played the move bishop takes c4 just taking the pawn simply. And here black took the pawn on d4. Now instead of taking the pawn with pawn, he could have taken the pawn with queen. But now comes queen to b3. And after queen to b3, queen to d7, black, taking the pawn on f7. And now a very interesting move, which is bishop to g5. With a simple and perfect threat of rook d1, followed by rook to d8, check and mate. So this is a very nice idea. And if uh, black would have played bishop e7, then as you can see, this is falling. So that's why black took the pawn on d4 with his e takes d4. Now here white played a very brilliant move, an unnatural move, which is knight to f3, which has different threats. Now first of all, the common threat is to attack the pawn. And the next thing which white is going to do is to take the pawn on d4. Now here black played the move b5. I guess black was just afraid of bishop takes f7 after d I guess black was just afraid of bishop takes f7 after d takes e3 and that's because he played it but it turned out to be a mistake instead let's see what would happen if he would have played d takes e3 okay now white would play bishop f7 as you can see it's the most natural move because uh, he has to hold on with his queen so king e7 is the only move and now queen to b3 c takes b2 is the must move for black and now bishop takes b2 and i guess max was afraid of white's hilarious bishops as you can already see but here the engine shows queen to b6 and after bishop a3 check 
it's a very difficult task for human to think that uh, it would be better for black but it's really better for black but as you can see the bishops are just rolling and that's what i made i made a max afraid of this line so that's why he played the move b5 but it turned out to be a mistake here alikhan played the move knight takes b5 another tactical blow and here Ali, and here max played the move bishop to a6 and now white's position is just clear because of his activity and he's a pawn plus which he just took on b5 with his knight now instead of bishop takes a bishop to a6 what would happen if he would have taken on b5 now bishop d5 would have come and as you can see already the rook on a8 is trapped and this would uh, let white win the game so that's why bishop a6 was played by max and now here alikhan played the move queen to b3 now it attacks the pawn on f7 and makes a battery also it looks keeps a check over here so now it puts the pressure on here on f7 and black responded here queen to e7 but now as you can see after queen e7 white has misplaced black pieces as now bishop is not able to develop the knight which could come on e7 has now only one square out knight to f6 and also there would be other difficulties now instead of queen to e7 which is the most natural move now if black would have taken bishop takes b5 which also looks like um, fine after king goes d7 bishop f7 but after bishop f7 and king d7 of course here not bishop g8 cause rook g8 queen g8 and here you can pause the video and try to find the stunning blow for black okay the stunning blow for black is bishop to b4 check and now as you can see already that this is checking and the queen is going um, to capture the white queen in the next move and black is just simply winning so that's why after queen b3 and bishop takes b5 bishop takes f7 king d7 white should play here the move simply knight takes d4 and as you see the position the black king is totally misplaced further on white can improve his bishops oops white oops sorry white can improve his bishops he can develop his rooks and uh, this is really bad for black so that's why after queen to b3 queen e7 was played defending but now his pieces as i already told you are a bit misplaced here ali khan played the move castle simply just castling the king which i think is the best move because once you castle the king then your king is safe and as you can see the black king is still in the center so now here black took bishop takes b5 because as he saw that now he has defended on f7 so he thought okay why shouldn't i take so instead of this c takes b5 but then oops sorry just sorry c takes b5 and now simply bishop d5 again and after bishop b7 just queen b5 is coming in with the same threat attacking and checking so this is again better for white so after castle bishop takes b5 this has happened in the game and here alakhan took bishop takes b5 and knight f6 was played now you might wonder why not c takes b5 because as we saw that this rook is really bad for black it always stops some of the other lines so yeah again queen d5 and as you can see again the rook is falling so yeah this is not possible so after bishop b5 he played the move knight to f6 and here alakhan just moved his bishop back and now if you calculate and now if you calculate the material let's just calculate it 3 4 5 6 pawns for black 1 2 3 4 5 6 pawns for black so as you see the position is totally equal but now white piece is a bit more developed and here's a double double bishop advantage as well so after bishop to c4 max responded knight b to d7 developing some of his pieces now you still see that the bishop on f8 um has no scare to move in the next move so here alekhan played the move simply knight takes d4 instead of this if he would have played e5 knight takes e5 knight takes e5 queen takes e5 bishop f7 and king d7 or not really king d7 because queen b7 is coming king d8 and now oops what happened i'm just sorry a king d8 and now as you can see the king just a bit runs over here so i really don't think this would have been better for alekhan so that's why he just take knight d4 and the king is still in the center of course not long castle because bishop a6 would lead to disaster so 
Rooks. Here he played the move Rook B8 and he's just attacking on B3 Queen. Here Alekhine played the move going to C2, simply rotating his Queen for once. Here Max played the move going to C5, trying to somewhat pin over here. Knight to f5 was played in the game, again stopping black from developing his bishop. Now, instead of this, if he would have been a bit tactical and thought of knight takes c6 and thought that, whoa, queen takes c6 is losing cause. I don't know what's happening, guys. Where were we? Yeah, queen takes c6, but now bishop f7, king f7, and queen c6 would have been better for us. But no, after you see, after knight c6, so simply rook c8 is coming. And this is just better for black. As you can see, the bishop is going to lose in the next move. That's why after knight to f5, here knight to e5 was played in the game. And now bishop to f4 simply developing all of his pieces into the center. Now instead of this, uh, if after bishop f4, and instead of this, if he would have been a bit more tactical and thought of knight g7, but he must have thought that after knight g7, king d8, just simply rook d1 check is coming. And after king c7, again, the king just a bit runs. Okay, it's not the matter of pawns, it's the matter of king. So we shouldn't uh, let the black king run away from the scene. So now bishop to f4 was played. And here, Alec, and here Max played the move knight to h5, trying to put a pressure on the f4 bishop. And now, here the beautiful blow which I would like you to find here as white. So I'll just give you some seconds or you can pause the video and try to find the white's next blowing move. Okay, I hope you are ready. Let's go. So the move is bishop to f7. Yeah, bishop to f7 with a simple idea to exchange some of the pieces but in the end get some advantage. So now king to f7 was played, queen to c5, bishop to c5 and now bishop to e5 simply. And that's you see the ca calculation. 1, 2, 4 points for black, 3, 4, 5, 6 points for white. So this is actually better for white but not really stopping here. It also stops bishop b2 pawn to be hanged and also attacks the rook on b8 so the game rook b5 was played now instead of this rook b e8 would have been also considered but now simply bishop d6 with the fact that bishop takes d6 uh, oops bishop takes d6 is not possible because knight d6 followed by taking over on e8 that's why rook b5 was played, trying to um, get some discovered attacks, but okay, this is not possible. Here, this Alikhan played bishop d6 with the same idea, after bishop d6, knight d6, putting pressure over the boards. So now bishop b6 retreated back, and now here, very beautiful move, b4. And now, some more black might not be going to agree, but... Oops, what black, black might not want, going to be agreed. But after b4, this rook is seriously trapped and he can't really do anything right now. So he played the move rook d8 and the fact that if a4, then he could uh, prolong with rook b5, rook f5, e f5 and rook d6, which again is better for black, white, but still black has some chances over there. So white just wanted to make clear that um, black has no chances. So just rook d1, again threat the same, a4. Now c5 was played in the game again trying to see that after a4 rook b4 but now just p takes c5 bishop takes c5 and okay you can find the last move of the game after which um, max you just resign okay so you can take some second or pause the video okay so the move is rook to d5 and here black just simply resigned because as you can see over here the rook is uh, pinning the rook on b5 and the bishop is in between so the bishop is pinned with the rook and in the next move white is just gonna win a piece on c5 or on b5 or the exchange so guys this was the game for today i hope you learned something new and learned something new to implement in your own if you enjoyed the video, a like would be much appreciated and if you are new to the channel then don't forget to hit that subscribe button below and turn on the notifications bell to never miss on any of my upcoming updates. Share the game with your friends and family and comment down below for any suggestions or queries. I will meet soon you in my next video. Till then, see ya!